Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be just my everyday curly hair routine. Uh, this is my hair naturally without any heat applied to it. So I have been doing the sulfate and silicone free method lately, uh, which is called the Curly Girl Routine. So please keep watching if you want to hear some great products for you curly hair ladies out there. I'm going to start by vigorously massaging this coconut co-wash into my hair. Next, let's use about three to four pumps of the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. I'm going to wrap my hair in what is called a turby twist. You can purchase these from Ulta, but if you'd rather, you could just grab an old t-shirt and put your hair in that. This will help to create less friction and frizz. So you're gonna wrap it around the back of your hair, tuck all of your hair into place so that no hair is missing, and you're going to slowly begin to twist the towel from the bottom to the top. Don't forget to make sure your ends are tucked in all the way as well. Now let's take the end of our turvy twist and tuck it into the back. Let me show you the back real quick and we're off to the good stuff. All right, so you just saw the product stays in the shower and I just wanted to briefly talk about each one of them and just kind of explain why I'm using these products. I am currently doing the Curly Girl Method, uh, which was started by Lorraine Massey. She is like the curl master. I'm going to insert a picture of her right here. I mean, come on, her curls are perfect. So I am trying the silicone and sulfate free concept. Um, she has her own line of hair care products. They're called Diva Curls, uh, which is like the no poo, low poo products. And you can find them at Sephora. I've never personally used them. I heard they're absolutely wonderful, but they are on the pricey side. So since I'm new to the concept, I don't want to splurge yet on something that I'm not quite sure is going to work for me yet. But yeah, so let's just jump right in. So first, I wash my hair with the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Now, this is an interesting concept, so co-wash <laughs> essentially means that you are washing your hair with conditioner. Now I have learned that what is actually cleaning your hair when you're using shampoo is not the suds, it's, it's the motion itself, which is removing the oils and the dirts from your head. Actually washing your head with conditioner is moisturizing, but it is still cleaning the oils out. I promise I have been surprised. I always say, you know, don't knock it till you try it. Um, I was dubious at first for sure, like washing your head with conditioner. Really? But it's been awesome. I've really been enjoying it. I feel like my hair has been softer than ever. Now I know I'm probably going to get some comments on this product and I really wanted y'all's opinion on this. Um, this coconut co-wash is found in the ethnic hair aisle, African American aisle, whatever you want to call it. I don't really understand why different hair types are separated because no matter what ethnicity you are, you can have different types of hair. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on that in the comments below. Clearly I am a white girl, but I have Italian in me, I have Native American in me, and my hair is not that stick straight shiny white girl hair. I have curly, crazy, frizzy hair, and I don't understand why there are two separate aisles, because if I had found these products earlier, it would have really saved my hair. Enough about that, let's move on. Next, after I do the co-wash, I use a restorative conditioner, and this is by Shea Moisture. I absolutely love, love their products. They're amazing. Um, it's a fantastic company, and this is the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. It is so good. It's so, so thick. And Lorraine Massey always says that you can never use enough conditioner, which is unfortunate because conditioner is often expensive at times. But this stuff, I believe, is $10, and I just got it at Target. I use approximately three to four pumps and spread it over my entire head, and I just love it. It, it has a great amount of slip. Um, slip is a concept I didn't really understand at first, but it essentially means that... You know how when you, when you get out of the shower, sometimes your hair can feel like squeaky clean? And that's not really the best thing. You don't want a conditioner to leave your hair feeling squeaky clean. You want to leave your hair feeling like really nourished and moisturized. And this gives you 
It's like slippery almost. It gives you that right amount of slip so that you can detangle your hair. I personally do not comb or brush my hair. Um, I find that it messes with my curls and it changes the pattern of them completely. So I just detangle my hair using my fingers. This product really has a great amount of slip so that I can detangle my hair effectively. Last but not least, I use the Fakai Apple Cider Shampoo approximately once a month. It really depends. Um, this does clarify and renews your scalp. It basically gets any buildup that you have out. Um, this does most definitely have sulfate, but if I ever occasionally, if I straighten or curl my hair or do something, use a heat protectant on it, which has silicones, in order to get those silicones out of your hair, which can weigh your hair down, you need to get them out with sulfates. And neither my shampoo nor conditioner have sulfates in them, so occasionally I will use this product to get the sulfates out of my hair, but I try to use heat as little as possible on my hair. And if I do, I rinse with the apple cider. So I almost always let it dry in this Turvy Twist for approximately an hour or so, and then let it out and air dry until it's completely dry. Typically, if I do shower in the morning and wait for my hair to dry, I will do my makeup while my hair is drying. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> All right, so now that I've done my makeup, uh, and by the way, this is like, I wouldn't say every day because I don't wear eyeliner every day. Date night, you know, like a nice everyday look. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you would like to see a tutorial on this look. But in two ways, let's get to the her. Let's take our hair out of the turban. And you just wanna untwist it. And this is what we're left with. It basically just helps maintain the shape that you had when you got out of the shower and it creates less fuzz and less friction. If you use a towel to shake your head, it drives me crazy when I see girls doing that. Do not rub your head with a towel. It will add so much frizz to your hair and who wants that? I would definitely recommend getting the Turby Twist, whether that be at Ulta or Target. I believe even Sephora carries them. Or if you don't want to spend any money, just grab an old t-shirt and wrap your hair up in that. It will create no frizz, no friction for your hair, and really work just as great. All right, now I'm going to give myself about an hour, maybe 30 minutes or so until my hair is almost completely dry, and I will come back and show you guys the finished results. Now, my hair is almost completely dry. Just wanted to explain what I do as it's in its drying process. Um, I will put, usually, this is the Shea Moisture Zanzibar Marine Complex Age Defy and Color Protect Leave-In Conditioner with Black Pearl Protein and Sea Buckthorn Oil. That was a mouthful. So, once again, Shea Moisture, great products, um, and sulfate-free, silicone-free, and this is a leave-in conditioner, so as my hair is drying, I just spritz this in on the ends just to, you know, condition them. And then as my hair is finishing drying, I will use the KMS Silk Sheen. It's basically just frizz control. It's a polishing serum, and I'll just put this, like, on the edges of my hair, just on the top around my face, uh, basically so that I don't have any flyaways. So let me show you where we're at right now. Alright guys, so this is the finished hair look. It is approximately 98% dry, but um, I think that it leaves you with really nice soft curls. I really, really hate like those crunchy curls that leave you with like a cask on your hair. I just think they're not, they're not good. You want to be able to just move your hair and flip it around and, and have it be just really nice soft curls. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you can try this look on yourself at home and hopefully it'll go well. So uh, let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. If you have any questions, leave them in the down bar. Thanks so much, guys.